What's poppin' homies, it's your boy Frank Nitty back in the building, back in this culture closet, back bring you guys another video. A unique video, cause I haven't done one of these in a while. Y'all saw the title, you already know why that came through. You guys wanna see the dopest pickups, or my dopest pickups, that I have caught from the Nike outlet thus far. Now these shoes date back all the way from maybe March, April, May, June, we in June, man. Maybe, yeah, probably February, man. It's been a while since I post all my pickups in one video. And quite frankly, I had a few, maybe I'm missing a pair or a few pairs to be honest, man. But without further ado, let's get into it, man. Let's see all the shoes I got for 2019. The, well, let's do that. The first half of 2019 since we in June right now. Now these shoes are not in particular order, man. So let's get into it. First and foremost, man, we got these Nike ID PGs. I wanna say these are the twos, man. Yeah, I think these are the twos. Now these are Nike IDs, came straight from the clearance store, the new clearance store, might add you. Um, I'm not sure if I post that video yet, but if you're not, don't be surprised when you see an upcoming Nike outlet vlog where I cop these. Now the price, man. Yeah, I saw the price, $29, but that's not it, man. With 30% off on these joints. Now the color is not crazy. It's not a well-executed Nike ID. It's pretty straightforward and simple. Probably somebody did it for a team and like, you know, probably the season was over before they actually got it because Nike be taking a while to make these shoes. But anyways, man, 29 with 30% off. Cop this for like maybe 15, 20 dollars. Who knows? Can't remember. Now this shoe y'all seen in multiple outlets, man, that we're hitting for $79 with 30% off. It's your fly knit royals, man. A lot of people pass on this shoe. I'm a big ones guy. I love all ones. And when they introduced this model, like maybe two years now, uh, the breads I cop rocked already and then the royals. Now, to be fair, this is not my size. This is a size 11, but at the price, I just couldn't pass, man. So I bought me a pair of these. Another shoe that I caught from the Nike outlet, actually I bought this shoe several times, man. For this price, I also couldn't resist. The Couture, or Defiant Couture's ones, man. A lot of people hate this shoe because the leather is garbage. The quality is not up to par from Jordan 1's. Cause you know how they do the Jordan 1's. They give us a shallow backboards and then it kind of spoils us when we got that. So we expect shallow backboard quality on all leather when it comes to the Jordan 1's. But they flip the script on this, man. They give us this, I don't even know, pleather type you know the michael jackson pleather jackets man that's what it reminds me of but i still think it's a good execution dope shoe i love the fact they got the pinstripe pinstripe the paint stripe the band paint stripe across the swoosh on the lateral side now this shoe retail for 175 is kind of premium well premium price rather and then they went on sale a lot of people didn't buy them actually a lot of people returned them and i copped this off for a return this is also a size 11 as well but for the price i think i paid under 100 under a hundred dollars believe it or not man at a clearance store again this is not in any particular order i don't think you guys seen this pickup in any of my outlet videos because this was also a the cop that i that actually a subscriber put me on so i was in the building at the clearance store the new joint and i'll just randomly talking to him he's like i watch your videos he's like yo man if you want this pair they're over there sitting so i ran over there and it was the last pair man these are size four the shadows now i'll probably give it to my son when he can when he's able to wear it a cool well not a tip but pro quo fact is i buy a lot of shoes that i see on sale now so my son can wear it like two or three years later so the shoe would probably be four years by the time he's able to rock it but i think that's dope right my son rocking their old retro and his size <laughs> you know like 45 years later i think that's dope man these were hitting for 84 with additional 30 percent off what else? What else, man? We got a few more shoes, so we're going to try to get through this, man. I probably are or is forgetting some other shoes, so please apologize. Maybe I do like a, I don't know, like an end the video. If I can remember something, I could go and grab it real quick, and I do an improv of shoes I may have forgotten, man. But we're, we're, we're like halfway through. Now, I had these, got mad at it, <laughs> bought them back, found cheaper, and bought this pair, man. It's probably the cheapest pair of all the shoes I have found. This was like 119 with additional discount, can't remember. I wanna say it's under $100 what I end up paying for these. These are size 12, my size. The Air Jordan 3 chlorophylls. A lot of people didn't like this shoe for whatever reason. It is a three. It does got the elephant print on there. It's a gray with that, I don't know if that's lime green. Uh, I don't even know what kind of green that is. But I feel like these are one of the shoes that nobody want, but in three years, you can be like, yo, that shoe's going for like $300. These are it. And speaking of threes, man, here's another three i'm about to tell you well shoot it's a cyber monday three this shoe came out like three years ago man 
a lot, again, a lot of people. This is like on the quote tale of when Jordan Brand was not selling out every release. Our love hate relationship for these, man. People wanted them, then they didn't. And then the, I think the ones came out too. The ones eventually sold out, but you saw them later on outlet. Anyways, I copied these at the outlet. Uh, Clarence Store again on International. These were hitting under, I think it was like $89 with 30% off. Now these are not my size. These, oh, size 11. I'm not gonna force my foot in them. Actually, I wanted this shoe. Um, this also was a shoe I bought, didn't want, now I bought back again, which I had. So, size 11 though. I still need 11 and a half, 12 to, to make it part of the collection. For right now, uh, it's on its way out, maybe, possibly trade. Or maybe it might show up on my website one day, which I'm currently working on. What about these joints, man? These joints was also at the same outlet as you saw with those threes, uh, these campfire joints. These were going for, I want to say 99 it was already under $100, bro. It was already under $100 with additional 30% off. And yes, it is my size, size 11 and a half. But I don't know if I'm gonna wear them, man. Don't know if I'm gonna wear them. It was a dope price, dope steal, so I picked them up. You know what I do? I pull up, if I see shoes that's affordable, your boy has to cop, and I cop. Man, is this thing recording? Cool, cool, cool. This is still recording. All right, man, we, we getting down to the nitty gritty. Matter of fact, man, these last two shoes was also found in the clearance store. Now I'm looking at it, majority of these shoes are found in the clearance store. Matter of fact, all these shoes has been found in the clearance store, not even a Nike outlet, except for the for these. These were actually in um, a outlet outlet. What about this, y'all? The 14s, this is also a pickup I had that I caught from one of my recent videos. Um, I know I didn't show much of it, but this was hitting for 99 with 30% off, so your boy pulled the trigger, man. I passed on this release, I did, originally. And then I had all opportunities to get it, and I still passed. So when I saw them at that price, I pulled the trigger. Now to be fair, that's not my size, I'm definitely gonna be selling those. And finally, man, probably not the least, but finally from all the shoes I can gather, and this quick motion to do this vlog, and have it up today, um, this is the last shoe in the collection that I caught from Nike Outlet. These are the Air Jordan 5, I wanna say, man, I forgot the name of these. Bro, it just says retro premium. I mean, it is premium because this was once a $400 shoe. And yes, your boy copped it for half price with additional 30% off. So I copped this roughly around under 150, man. Size 11 and a half. Now this also a shoe that's gonna be coming up in one of my outlet vlogs that I probably post or didn't post. Uh, quick story about it, you probably will see it in the video. Um, the homie came through, man. Homie from Tampa came through. One of my compadres, uh, we pulled up to Nike outlet, and he actually had this in his hand because he we rocked the same size. But then he started pondering. He's like, yo, I don't think I'm going to get this. Do you want it? And he passed it off to your boy. So I was like, yes, I do. So so it's now in my possession. Ironically, I went back there like maybe a couple days after our visit, me and him, and I saw the same shoe sitting on shelf. There was no additional discounts, and it also was a size 12. Here's a tip, y'all. Anytime y'all in the Nike outlet and y'all at the cash aisle, always look towards the bottom because that's where people be storing the heat, man. But these are going for $200. Size 12, my size. Not bad. Don't have the dust bag, though. And if I'm also not mistaken, someone hit me up saying they bought two pairs, he returned them. So this may be the pair that the other homie told me he bought and returned. He asked me if I wanted them. By the time I was like gonna pass, cause I was like, ah, I don't need them. But then it was an impulse buy, cause like the homie was like, yo, here, take them. I don't want them. I was like, all right, cool, I got them. It also came with a dust bag, no lid on the box, but it's Gucci, I'm planning to rock these. I was gonna wrap it up, but then I realized I have more shoes, man. And actually, one of them is right behind me. These joints, man. These are the Air Max One print. If y'all remember, I copped this shoe for $60 with 30% off. Or was it $69? I don't remember. Y'all remember that video. And I told y'all I have multiple pairs. And I still do. I have multiple pairs. I told y'all I was going to cop and I'm going to put them up on a website when, they, when I make it. So whenever that website is made, eventually, I'm going to have these available for you guys for the same price I paid. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, 
These are my size, size 12. I originally had this in the collection for, uh, I think it was a size 11 and a half. So essentially, um, I got rid of 11 and a half and kept my 12, but I actually paid more. My original pair was like $89, like 20% off. Now I got these for 69, I believe, with 30 off. So this was a best or better buy, in my opinion. And I know there's other pair of shoes around here that I caught from the Nike outlet. I just can't pick, I just can't put my finger on it, literally and figuratively. Like, I'm not sure if it was this pair, that pair, that pair. It's one of these pairs I know for a fact. See, see, that's the thing. When you have a lot of shoes, it's hard to keep track of them, man. So I'm gonna wrap it up right here. Unless something magically happened where I remember that shoe and where it's at and what shoe it is, because I don't even know. I'll just have to comb through, read some box labels and figure it out. But other than that, man, we're gonna wrap it up, man. Thank you for pulling up on your boy on the Sunday to watch my pickups from the Nike outlet. Yo, I told y'all I was gonna find more shoes, man. Literally, after like an hour, hour and a half of shooting this video, I came across these joints, bro. I copped these at the Nike outlet on Violin. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, I won these shoes since day one, man, and a lot of people didn't like it. A lot of people like kind of poo-poo these shoes, but I thought it was dope, man. Reminds me of the Olympic Sixes uh, with that navy blue um, hits on the side of the shoe and also on the tongue. But yo, that's not it, man. I thought this was it. That's, this was the shoe I was looking for when I was talking, but yo, that's not it. Yo, these, have I told y'all about these? I copped these at the Nike clearance store, the new spot that just opened. It was just sitting in the cut at the bottom of the shelf. Pro quo tip, when you're on the Nike outlet, especially the clearance, you know how they got the box list cut. You usually find heat at the bottom. It's probably somebody put them down for later. They don't want to carry it around or they don't want nobody else to have it. So they throw it at the bottom. I found these at the bottom, man. You won't guess what they were going for. These was going for under $100 with 30% off. I forgot the total. I think I ended up walking out the store like 50 cent or 60 something. That's crazy because the old location, I got the metallic reds, um, size 11 for like 60 something dollars when it was all said and done, man. But yeah, these. And finally, how did I forget? How did I forget these shoes, man? Y'all saw my Brooklyn Nike outlet vlog. I pulled up in the building and cop these joints, man. These cap and gown 11s. How did I forget this, yo? This is probably, no, no, it's not my most recent pickup, but this is probably the most exciting pickup from the Nike outlet thus far this year. For the first six months of this year, this by far is probably the cream of the crop, bro. Creme de la creme, creme de la creme? Creme de la creme, if that's even the phrase. Cop these for way below retail. Yes, they're B-Grace. Then came with the pullout box, but who cares, man? You ain't rocking the box, you rocking the shoes. All black janitor shoes, you guys may hate on it. I passed on it during release, but yo, I copped it, I have it, I'm happy. Yo, that's it now, that's it. Now back to the outro, peace. I was fortunate enough to buy all these shoes below retail. Not just below retail, but a crazy amount of savings, man. I wanna say it's fair to say every shoe but this and this were under retail, man. Everything else was, well, well, under $100. Everything else was below $100. And that's a fact, man. But anyways, leave those comments down below. Your boy get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, until we meet again, until I'm in front of this lens and in front of your TV screen or our laptops, you already know my slogan. Good to go. It's a wrap. Mm -hmm.